What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Street Fighter Duel video. First off, happy Friday. I am freaking exhausted still. Um, have not had much sleep. So, you guys are probably going to get a uh, a less energetic version of me. Um, but that's okay. I'm going to do my best to give you guys the usual amount of flair, energy, and guidance as I can. Uh, so I want to talk real quick about uh, two things. Number one, uh, the Devil Invasion Explorer. A lot of people are asking a lot of questions in terms of why can't I beat certain parts of the game. It's pretty simple, guys. It's all going to be based on your workbench. See, right here, the first thing you want to do is you want to get one of these to 20, okay? That's going to be your main goal. Get it to 20, and then remember, you can change any of these stats afterwards, okay? You don't have to um, stick around with just one. Like, look, if you go back to this, you can double this one. I don't know if you guys know this stat, but you can double the, the power one twice, right? So I can put two of these in and double the power units. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're doing this. So here we go. Look, see double. Okay. Both give different stats. See, like one gives pressure, life steal, and crit. This one here gives dodge damage bonus and crit. And they also give you bonuses to each of these power units. So depending where you want to go, just take a look and see what's going to benefit your units the most and what you're using in terms of your units. Okay. So that applies to everything essentially. Like there's, uh, there's obviously the legendary units twice. You can do it to uh, infernal units twice. Like there's infernal there. So everything can be put in twice. So get two to 20 ASAP and you're going to breeze through this. I promise you. It's like not, it's not even a question. So that's the real trick there. Now, with that being said, this also applies to uh, the fights you're going to be doing against Dante. And that's where we're going to go to next. Okay. We're going to go to the actual fights against Dante. Um, now real quick, before I do that, I want to show you guys T Cami was the best damage dealing unit we had at the moment. If you go to T Cami, um, right here, you can see she is a power uh, attack class. I mean, so you want to use attack class and tech depending which two give you the best bonuses. Now your actual modules will also affect how much damage you do. So here I've got attack core and I've got attack core, right? One gives crit rate, life steal and pressure. Other one gives damage, damage bonus, and dodge. So let's see what the other core gives, okay? Let's go to tech here. I'm going to give tech here instead. Let's change this to tech because she is a tech type. So tech here, crit parry, resist, healing rate, not really imp important. But this one here, on the other hand, though, right? Pressure, life steal, damage bonus. That's the one we want. So we're going to change that. So for this boss fight, you essentially want to give your damage dealer the best chance of doing damage as possible. So let's change this 10. Okay, we're going to change this 10 over to, was it this one? Uh, yes, it was that one. Oh, no, it wasn't that one. It was the other one. Okay, sorry, sorry. Let's go back. Uh, change this one back. So we had this one. Yeah, it was this one that we want here. And then this one we want to change to this, the, the first one. Okay. Yeah, this one. There you go. Okay, you can see here now. And then you can even go a step further here, right? For this damage dealing purpose and give her the master one as well too. So if you go to master, there's two different ones, right? There's this one here, which is uh, damage, crit, and speed, which is amazing. So do that one. And then that's it. You can even, I mean, you go a step further one more time and give even the, the the level one just for a little bit more stats, right? To this one here, which is dodge, assist, healing rate. If you want to, you don't have to go that route. Um, I'm just trying to think, is there anything else I can add here to make, to maximize her damage more than anything else, right? So there probably isn't. So um, yeah, you know what? We'll get a shield on her. Whatever. Let's just do it that way. Okay, then let's let's actually try the fight out now. Here's the new fight. Let's look at the multipliers real quick, okay? So this one here is increases boss gauge. Sure, let's do that. Uh, it reduces the amount of healing received. Sure, let's do that. Um, increases boss effect resistance. That we don't want with t -cam because you need to land your shocks. Uh, reduce the damage dealt by back row fighters. No, we don't want that. So the same as yesterday, I guess. If unleashed immediately after the first skill, reduce the damage of the first fighter's second skill. Okay, no, we don't want that. Uh, we did have that yesterday, but we don't want that this time. Uh, reduces damage taken. Fire. No, we don't want that because it's all electric damage, essentially. Uh, deploy. Can't deploy power fighters. Uh, I think we're okay. I think we can't have that one either. This one, we're okay. No, we're not okay there. We're okay there. And we're not okay there. So this multiplier is 194 this time, okay? So if I go to challenge... So we're going to go and do t Cami. this, this, this. That looks good. But the only change I would make here probably is putting in Ken instead. So you can see here, this is the pay to win version, right? So just so you guys are aware. Um, in terms of assists, you know what? I'm going to put Bison up here in case she does die. She'll revive. 
And then you go this, this, and this, okay? Okay, I think we're good. Let's give this a go. Yeah, we're gonna try this out. We're gonna hold off as usual. You can see here he does way more damage as a demon. Way faster. He looks pretty badass, though. That's that's a good size demon right there. That makes me happy to see. Oh, that's cool. Okay, and then now we can actually start the damage. You see here the shock here that's building right up there on the screen? That's what you want with with, with Tkami, right? You want to build as much of that shock as possible because eventually she records it and does 1,600% of her damage uh, based on how much more shock she, she does. So that's her six car bonus. So that bonus is intense. If the more shock you build stacks up to 10 times, she'll remove it eventually and she does instant damage up to 1,600% of her attack. So, ooh, uh, you know what? He's not stunning, which is kind of nice. At least we don't have to deal with that anymore. Uh, I am losing a lot more health a lot quicker though. Ooh, ooh, ouch. Okay, so I'm gonna try bringing, I'm gonna try bringing Elena in here to see if it makes a difference. See how much damage we did that time though. So there you go, 481, okay? 481, we're gonna try that again, and this time we're gonna bring in a healer. I'm curious to see what Elena does here with the healer. I'm gonna speed up the fight this time though, guys, okay? Okay, let's try this again. Speed up times four so you guys can kind of see the difference in damage. Again, I'm gonna just hold off here on the damage a little bit. Get those armor breaks in, get in this uh, the debuffs, and then I'm gonna hit the two, we'll start. There we go, okay. So now Elena's heals are gonna be a lot less than they normally are because we did the re healing reduction, which is fine. It's not the end of the world uh, because we don't really need to heal that much. It's just in case we need to survive. Now we are losing massive damage with Street Poison uh, buff gone, but Elena does give an attack bonus at least. So we do have that to supplement the damage loss. Um, but as you can see here, we're surviving longer, so let's see if the damage difference is bigger. That was another four seconds, okay? Yeah. Yeah, so see? And that's the thing, a lot of people uh, rightfully talk about Street Poison's uh, buffs, and they're extremely important, but if you're not surviving the damage, then you're not going to be doing these kind of numbers, right? Okay, let's try one more time here. I'm going to do... Uh, I'm just trying to think if there's a better way to do this. I know Bison keeps her alive with one hit. I'm going to try to put Rose in here. I want to see if that makes a difference, guys. Because Rose buffs are actually really useful. But I'm going to see if they, they, they make a difference in terms of hammer damage we can push out, okay? And I'm going to actually start with this this time. Because I want to get that defense down. So let's put this combo in first. And then do this one. And then start off the combos, okay? Now, I'm going to do Flash and Blanca next and, and see Viper to show you guys at least what kind of damage C Viper can do. Because she is set up very similarly to um, uh, to, to T-Cammy in terms of her stats, right? Because she's also a power user. She's also a unit that does um, tech. So we can actually just... All thing we have to change for her is put Flame in instead of Master and see the difference in damage between the two of them, okay? So, and then we, we'll keep Flash and Blanca in there as well, too. So 494. So not as much this time around, okay? So... 525 though, pretty good number. I'm okay with that one. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a different team this time so you guys can see. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to do one more time. Speaking of which, I forgot about that. One more time. Let's put C Viper in. Do one last attempt here, guys. Okay, so we can kind of see the damage difference between them. Because Viper is an instant attack. So I'm curious to see if that instant attack will do more. Okay, there's that. So let's see if this does more. Now, the problem with the instant attack in these fights, as much as it is nice to have that extra damage, is it also builds his 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 attack gauge. You can see up there his attack buff a lot faster. So just keep that in mind. If you're not surviving, you may want to rethink the strat a little bit. Uh, as you can see here, the healing. If I remove the healing, I'm, I'm curious to see if the multiplier makes a difference. But let's see, 17. I mean, this is average. This is what we're surviving normally. Okay, so let's see here. The, the C Viper make a difference as an assist? No, actually worse. So Bison was the best assist for sure. Okay, so good to know. So let's get these out of the way. Get this out of the way. Uh, okay, now, 
let's go ahead and make that team that I was talking about, okay? So this is going to be my free-to-play version of the team. Um, let's put Viper in here. Take Cammy, pick her out. Uh, put in. I'm going to put in Dalsim here for the extra bonus fire damage. Uh, you can get F. Micah in there. Ken can be removed from Bison. I mean, that's a pretty straightforward removal. Uh, we'll keep Elena in. And you can go uh, this, this, and this, okay? Let's give this a go. Oh, wait. Three to six master. I have to remove that buff. Sorry, guys. One multiple has to be removed. So I think it was this one. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So the score... Oh, no. Oh, oh, the wrong one. Okay, sorry, guys. Let's go back. Battle, challenge, yeah, whatever. I'll pay 100. It's okay. It's okay. That, might, that was my mess up. I'll, I'll switch it up. I'll, I'll, take the, I'll take the hit. Um, What did I want to do here? Sorry, was it... You know what, actually? Yeah, you know what? To keep it free to play friendly... Do I want Chun-Li for the bonus crit? You know what? I'm going to put Chun-Li in for the bonus crit. I'm going to do that. Okay. This should be a, a decent free-to-play team. You can also put Street Poison in for Elena to see which one works better. Uh, I can try both for you guys. Okay, so this is, again, times four. Uh, we're going to do the same scenario, guys. We're going to just build up the, the gauge. And a lot of people ask me why I stall. For two EX moves, you don't want this buff to go up too high too fast because then you'll start getting one shot even earlier, right? So a little bit of patience goes a long way with this. Okay. You see here, he has a lot of resist. So he's resisting the burns and the, there's two burns right there finally and a shock. But that's a big part of um, her C3, right? Her being um, Viper. Like she needs to get those those in, those in or else it's, it's not going to work that well. So we lost the lane. That's fine. Look at that. We're actually surviving almost the entire fight, which is actually pretty impressive. So let's see the damage difference now. Ah, 442, right? Proper modules, proper setup. You're good to go. Okay. So there you have it, guys. And that's what I rec recommend. Uh, remember, your modules matter the most. So this workbench here is going gonna, is gonna to make or break your team's damage. So definitely get two of them to 20 as soon as you possibly can. Uh, get those commissions out of the way. And you're golden. All right, guys. Pain. I'll talk to you guys on the next one.